Hello, my name is Rex Mercer with Textron Aviation Technical Publications Group. Whether you're heading out on your next vacation, business trip, or just leaving the service center, it's everyone's responsibility to ensure your flight manual and checklists are current, up to date, and configured for your specific serial number. Today we're going to continue our talk about confirming the status of your flight manual and checklist, ensuring these updates dates are incorporated in a timely manner to keep your flight manual documents airworthy. Please note, Textron Aviation will, all, will release periodic updates, either temporary changes or revisions, that will always apply to your aircraft. Again, now with your unique country's authority approval, and as applicable, you're required to update these into your flight manual and checklist as soon as possible after receipt. They will be either in a revision or in a temporary change you can confirm all of your publication status at our website, www.txtavsupport.com. And so now that we're at www.txtavsupport.com, we've logged in. We'll choose My Models Citation M2. This will pull up a wealth of information for you. If you've not been here, I strongly encourage you to, to go to these websites and look through for the important information there. For today's purpose, we're going to Aircraft Publications, Pub Status Report. This is again where we will confirm that our conf flight manual and checklist are at the right revision, right temporary changes. We're going to scroll down till we find our part number. As you can see, we have all the CJ family in here, so there's several to scroll through and ensure you get to the right revision. So here we're at 525 FMC M2 flight manual, part number 525 FMC 03, which we've confirmed. Here's your list of supplements to confirm that they are each at the way, correct revision, and your list of temporary changes that, that are be applicable. Again, these are applicable for your model, then as we determined and will determine which specific temporary changes apply to your unique configuration. The checklist will be the same way. We'll scroll to those just quick. Here's the M2 525 CLC EAP M2 Rev3 and the list of temporary changes. Once you ensure you have your flight manual along with your checklist revision level and any temporary changes are current for your specific aircraft, we're ready to begin the process to ensure your flight manual is up to date for both pages, temporary changes, and very importantly, any applicable configuration codes. We would always follow up the checklist confirming their status as well. Remember, each aircraft is unique due to aircraft equipment installed, block point changes and maintenance performed, such as service bulletin, service letters, etc. And these configuration codes determine the correct information is available for the pilots for safe flight. This is an airworthiness requirement. Today we're going to be working with the Citation 525M2. The process is similar for all of our citations. Now we're going to go to our flight manual. We'll confirm the temporary changes list at revision three, flight manual revision three, and our temporary changes. When we're looking through our temporary changes, we're always going to confirm whether they're applicable to our serial number or not. The next step we'll always do, and you can always have the list of affected pages to ensure that each page is at the correct configuration code and revision level. Then we're going to go to section, chap, section 1, page 1-110-4 one in this case, for our airplane configuration codes. As you can see, I've already made the denotations on it. For today's video, we're going to make two scenarios. We're going to use the aircraft 525-0905. We're going to say that the Aircraft has complied with Service Bulletin 525, 
7610 for scenario A, the aircraft has not complied with Service Bulletin 525 3497. With those key inputs, we'll be able to determine that our configuration codes will be AA, which is for all aircraft. ABAC has been superseded by TC 3 29. We're going to come over here and we're going to be looking for our serial number. In this case, it'll be 905, so it falls under 905 and on, so we'll be Alpha Bravo. Our second one will be Alpha Delta and Alpha El Echo. Again, for this scenario, serial number 905 has incorporated Service Bulletin 525-7610, so we'll be in Alpha Delta. Alpha Fox Golf Charlie, Alpha Fox and Hotel have been superseded, so we'll refer back to our temporary change. And in this scenario, again, serial number 905, not incorporating Service Bulletin 525-3497, so we'll be in Alpha Golf. And in the last option, we'll be 905, not incorporating 3497 again, and Alpha Hotel. So with that information, we will be going through these configuration codes and determining which ones apply. We're going to make a note where you're Alpha Alpha, Alpha Bravo, Alpha Delta, Alpha Golf, Alpha Hotel. With these configurations, we can now go through our flight manual. As you'll see, in this scenario, we'll have two pages, 2-00-1, Alpha Fox, and Alpha Hotel. For this scenario, we're going to, again, be an Alpha Hotel. However, Service Bulletin 525-3497 is a mandatory bulletin. You will be required to comply with that. And at that point in time, you would change from an Alpha Hotel and Alpha Fox. We'll go to that more in our second scenario. What I recommend is for our Alpha Fox pages, we want to retain those pages for our second scenario and for later use. Again, so Alpha Hotel, we'll want to make sure that our backside page two is configuration Alpha Alpha, so it's applicable. We're going to go through every page. They will run numerically and by configuration code. So you sh can determine with that, along with your list of effective pages, to confirm every page is included, correct, and current. Five, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Then we go from 2 110 8 to 2 210 1. So we'll continue this as well. So in here we have our page 2-210-3, we have configuration Alpha Delta or Alpha Echo. Alpha Echo is not applicable, will not be applicable, so we can go ahead and, and discard that. As you can see, we're starting two piles of retention. The Alpha Fox pages that we're going to retain for the future, then the pages that are not applicable and will not be, and we'll discard those. Again, 2-2-5, Alpha Delta, Alpha Echo, retaining Alpha Deco, Delta, discarding Alpha Echo. Uh, we're going to continue this through every page. <coughs> Let's move through to the Amber messages so we can show you a couple more examples. Again, 500-1, we have Alpha Fox, our Alpha Golf. And in this case, we have three choices, Alpha Fox, Alpha Golf, Alpha Charlie. We've determined for our future scenario, we'll be Alpha Fox after incorporating the service bulletin. We are today, we are currently in Alpha Golf, so we're going to retain that page. However, Alpha Charlie was never going to be applicable to us, so we can go ahead and discard that. Here's our first temporary change. You'll show that they're applicable to the M2, revision 3, that this is incorporated and applicable to serial number 900, incorporating SB525-3497. 
will tell you where what it is, where to put it against 3-500-2 and to remove it at revision 4 for this scenario. However, since we have not incorporated 3497, it's currently not applicable. We'll remove that and retain that for future use. We'll continue this with 3-500-3, Alpha Bravo, Alpha Charlie. Alpha Charlie will not be applicable to us. We'll throw that away and retain the Alpha Bravo page. We'll continue this through the complete flight manual. Once we get to the section five to the supplements, we would update the supplements. You're going to retain the supplements that are applicable to you, ensure that they're the current revision, and remove any unnecessary supplements. And then once we're through with this, again, we're going to continue this process into our checklist and update them as appropriate. Now we're ready to set up for scenario B. We are now going to work under the pretense that our serial number 525-0905 is in the shop to have the service bulletin 525-34-97 incorporated. So now we're going to update our configuration codes. We're going to take our retained pages and now we're going to update those into our flight manual and checklist. So going over again, our configuration codes will always be in Alpha Alpha. Alpha Bravo, Alpha Charlie have been superseded. We maintain now that we're in Alpha serial number 905 incorporating 3248, 3.2 or 4.8, so we're still in Alpha Bravo. We had already complied with Service Bulletin 525-7610, so we'll maintain Alpha Delta. However, for our last two configuration codes, we are no longer Alpha Golf 905 not incorporating. We are now 905 incorporating Service Bulletin 525-3497. So our goal now will be remove Alpha Golf and maintain Alpha 8 Fox. Again, with our second last code block, we were no longer an Alpha Hotel, we'll now be an Alpha Fox as well. So what we'll do now is we're going to continue through our, our flight manual and anywhere we come across Alpha Hotel or Alpha Golf, we'll remove them with our retained pages. So we can discard Alpha Hotel now and 2-00-1 will be replaced by the Alpha Fox. We'll know everything is correct up into our retained pages. So we can go to 2-410-7. Alpha Alpha was our front page, but our back page, 2-410-8, we were moving Alpha Golf, inserting Alpha Fox. Now's where our temporary changes that we had removed will be put in because this is serial number 905 incorporating Service Bulletin 3497. So we're going to continue this. Let's do a couple pages here. The 410-9, which matches against our temporary change. Again, these will retain and inserted until revision revised by revision 4. 11. And then our, we have a temporary change here coming in against our 2-410-10 with the incorporating of 3497. So we'll insert that as well. 2-410-11, front page is an Alpha Bravo. However, our backup, we're removing the Gulf, retaining the Alpha Fox. Another temporary change that is now applicable against 2-410-12 configuration AF. So we'll insert that. We actually have two temporary changes against 2-410-12. So we'll insert all of those pages. We have retained the one TC3-21 from 800 and on initially. We're going to add a new temporary change 
with the incorporation of 3497 against page 13 as well, removing Alpha Golf, retaining Alpha Fox, another temporary change to come to page 14. And then for example purposes, we'll go ahead and we're going to jump to again to the amber messages in section three. In this scenario, there's the only, the one service bulletin that we're changing. Uh, if you were performing multiple service bulletins, there may be several pages that need to be revised. Now we're at 3-500-1, Alpha Golf, removing, replacing with Alpha Fox. We now have an applicable temporary change for 905 incorporating 3497 against page 300, 3-500-2. 3-500-3 3 was not revised or not changed. 3-510-1, we'll remove Alpha Golf, retain Alpha Fox. 3-510-5, again, both pages are dash Alpha Bravo, however, we'll remove the Alpha Golf, retain the Alpha Fox page. The, you, you would just continue this process through the complete flight manual, updating any configuration pages. Again, do the same for your checklist. Um, we want to review and ensure that each page is correct and the correct co codes are installed. Be careful as we found on several pages, you can have one configuration code on the front and another applicable one on the back. If there are any temporary changes to the flight manual like we found, we want to make sure they're either included or excluded depending on their, applica their unique applicability. Uh, I, I want to remind you this is a very time-consuming job. I recommend planning two hours to four hours especially by the time you do your, check, your flight manual and checklist. You go to our website and confirming all your configuration codes are current. And then we'll have this process finished and you'll have a complete and accurate flight manual. Thank you again for your time. Again, my name is Rex Mercer with Technical Publications. Appreciate you watching this video and hope it helps you update your configuration codes. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our group at 316-517-6215. Again, 316-517-6215. Our email, tmdc at txtav.com. We'll be certainly glad to assist with any questions you may have.